Hi everybody, welcome back to Shea Louise's quick tips of the day. And today I have a request. Yes, I do. It is from Keith Lightbody and he writes, I've just watched your tips on how to vacuum my property. I've plugged my plug firmly into the socket, but I don't have a switch. Can you please help with your top tips? Now, naturally I was a bit shocked on that one. So I did explain to him about how to identify where the socket is plugged and where the plug is and how to with a finger of choice depress or if you need to use your foot depending where the button is press and release with your foot and that seemed to work for him and that was pretty cool and you know I was glad I was able to help him on that but he actually identified something that I was quite shocked on and I just felt that needed to be um, discussed today and uh, what it says was, please share Louise. And I could feel that there was a lot of need for urgency on this. We need a video on how to dust my, dust my partner. Dust, how to dust my partner. <laughs> Not dust his partner, I'm sure she doesn't want me doing that. No, oh, maybe. Uh, Zoe Nash. Hi, Zoe. And she uh, doesn't know how to do it properly. As there's always dust left. She's trying her best, but never works for us. If it never works for us, please help. I was shocked. I am. I. I was really, really, you know, like shocked to hear that because if it's affecting people's relationships, then this is what this site is for: it is so that I can inspire you, so that I can help pass on my knowledge to yourselves now i did reply to keith i'm only too glad to help you in any way possible uh this will be a two-parter dvd video um for part one will be basic dusting and part two will be involved in advanced dusting now i believe if you click on uh your app store you'll find my app which can be downloaded free of charge which will cover any further help. But the subjects I'll be covering will be in my videos. Uh, on the basic dusting one, it's going to be dusting a householder's guide. And that will explore uh, how to dust, how know when to dust, the application of dusting. And on the uh, advanced dusting, we will just we will run past through the application of dusting again, but also we'll have the philosophy of dusting as well. So um, this is cool. So I'm sure Keith, sweetie, I hope you're watching, and uh, we'll we'll just get straight on to it. Now I'm going to go into some of the history of dusting as well. I think that's quite important. Uh, dusting it comes from the la the word dust. To dust, it comes from the Latin word dustus, which means to dust or get your servant to do it for you. Then, as years went by, the centuries rolled on, obviously it fell out of fashion. But it came back in the late 1800s. And people used to th use things like socks or some s bits of wood or even their own top to dust. And it wasn't until the late 20th century that much more specialised equipment started to come onto the market for consumers to purchase so they could get their property looking neat and tidy. So, I have two here today. I have some polish, and this is called a duster. Duster, polish. Now, they're usually used in conjunction with each other, but you don't dust with this. Just to let you know, this is not what you dust with, okay? This is the duster because it's soft and pliable, okay? Now, just for today's video, I'm not going to be using this because that's part of advanced dusting and I don't want to get you confused. So I'm just going to pop this to one side for one now. But what I'd like to do, what I'd like to run through right now, is how to recognise when to dust. Now, if you look at my TV screen, you'll see... If I just do this, there's a bit of dust. Okay, you see the dust? So what we need to do now is take our cloth, 
take our cloth firmly in the hand. Okay, now be careful. Avoid, uh, make sure that you're holding it properly and safely. Avoid any dusting, slips or spills. Okay. And then what you do is with the hand that's got the duster in it, you just place it on top of where you want to dust and glide it across. Okay, I'll do that again. You glide it across. See, see the action? Very gentle. You just glide. And you can do it right to the end. You don't have to stop. Go right to the end. And there you go. See? And then you have some dust on there. And also, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can dust upwards. See? Now that, 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 that you may not get the hang of straight away. You may feel more comfortable going across than you do actually feel going up. But there is another way. You can go down. Don't, don't, don't think you're doing it wrong. There's no right or wrong. If you want to go down after you've been across, that's okay. That's fine. Don't forget the other side. If you can take it on the other hand. It's okay. To, if you're a bit ambidextrous, you can do that. Or if you can still want it in the same hand, you can do. Again, make sure you're holding it safely. And then you can go down. See? See how I'm going down? See? Go all the way down. Go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, I'll do that again for you. Just so you've got it. Go down. See it? Yeah. But don't forget, as the same with this side, you can also go up. So I'm going up now. See? See how it's going? Going up? Yeah? Right to the up, right to the edge, go right to the edge. One more time. Just so you've got an idea. There we go. Now we're going to do something along here. Yeah. <laughs> More dusting. So, now what we want to do, because this is quite a flat surface we don't want to get this too crumpled up so try and make it flat i mean if you if, if you got it like that then fine but you might find it easy if you can try and make it as flat as possible don't have anything hard in there again hold this firmly but gently don't try and wibble wobble it too much just gently don't hardly get it to move just glide it across to the end see that go again Glide it across. Okay, one more time. Glide it across. Got the last bit at the bottom there to do. Don't forget the bottom. Glide it across. Okay, so that's the basics of dusting. Uh, in my next video, please look out for it because that will be advanced dusting and the philosophy of it. And I'm quite looking forward to sharing that with you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll speak to you again. Take care. Bye bye.